Hey fellow South Africans, I know this is a super anxious period because it's just a couple of hours before the lockdown. Um, I just wanted to pop in and share the things that I bought before the lockdown and what I wish I would have bought and what were the things that I stressed about that weren't really that important considering we've been in lockdown since the 11th of March. Um, if you didn't see the other videos, there are some videos I shot about our grocery shops being super packed, despite us being sort of in the eye of the storm of the corona crisis. We still have toilet paper, can you believe it? So there's really no need to stress about groceries. It's actually a very enjoyable experience going to the shops because you don't get to go out. So it's this dreamy moment where you get to be outside and do some grocery shopping and it's more a controlled environment there's less people in the shops i think it's much safer to go then than now because people are storming the shops i've heard um and you still get to access these stuff so currently you're spreading the virus because of these masses of people for no good reason it's just panic next week the panic will subside and everything's still going to be there so I'd skip the shops over you, especially malls where a lot of people accumulate. Um, the things that I would recommend someone to think about in this, in the last couple of hours is where do you want to be? And then keep in mind there's a chance that the lockdown is extended. So if the lockdown was extended by another month, I know it's only two weeks, but say it was five weeks. Where would you like to be? And what are the basic things that you need? Maybe you have a very crummy old laptop cable and you just want an additional one. If you can buy one now, I know it's super late. Do it. But I think it's more of a priority actually to stay out of the shops simply because you're spreading the virus. And the first priority is nipping the virus in the butt because once it spreads, it's very difficult to control. Um, it's like a fine boss felt fire. They just you try to control it, but it's not possible So your first priority would be just to stay away from shops and not spread it um, and Really take your own actions seriously and also check your privilege um, It m might actually be a very easy transition for you as it's been for us to stay in the house despite uh, the amount of deaths in Italy. We get to stay in the house. I get to work from my house. All my online classes go on as normal. I have food. I still have um, access to finances. So life isn't that tough considering that we haven't fallen ill and I don't know someone that's fallen ill. Um, but there's many people in South Africa that would not have the same experience at all. They are losing their income. Um, they won't have access to public transport um, and I know there's so many people who struggle with this problem that it's easy to look the other way because sometimes it's too difficult to look South Africa's problems directly in the face. Now is the time you should not do that. Uh, the coronavirus is a team game. If one person is not able to limit themselves from contact with others your family and your safety is um, basically at risk so it's your responsibility to empower other south africans to stay at home like you can um, i'm assuming you're one of the south africans who do have resources um, but if you're not i'm sorry this is a really shit time and i'm thinking about you and um, I hope all South Africans team together and they really stop this virus and um, don't end up in the situation that we're in. Um, currently, the lockdown will just be extended and extended and extended. And I asked many of my friends, what would they recommend South Africans buying in this moment? And because we still have access to groceries and pharmacies and everything, the thing that most South Africans focus on is uh, maybe paracetamol um, because... Uh, people don't want to go into the pharmacy at the moment because I wish we all did. Maybe in that first week of the lockdown where there's very few people in the shops, that would be safe and not in the panic week, that's actually unsafe. I wish we bought some paracetamol maybe if you fall ill just so you have a painkiller and paracetamol is quite 
um, it doesn't really interact with anything so it's quite safe um, and then the other things that people mentioned are plants so they could do some gardening and books and art equipment but considering you're in South Africa I'm not sure if the cafes will also be open but you can pretty much find anything in a supermarket and the last recommendation I would make is things like cards are also very nice this is a nice time to be with your family in the house uh, if you don't have the additional pressure of finances and all the other things um, but irregardless getting stuff you can do in the house is really helpful and um, the last thing I would recommend is identifying your closest supermarket that doesn't require you to, to get into contact with many people uh, prefer preferably a small small place like a cafe or a cafe oh my goodness I've been in Italy too long a cafe is now a coffee for me I can't even pronounce it it's just been about two years or a year and a half but it's crazy um, so I'd recommend um, identifying a small shop you can go to preferably be a local business owner because the benefit of that is actually twofold. There's not a lot of people in the shop. Um, you get to go in and 